in order to transform certain complex nutrients into smaller molecules that can be absorbed by the body, the digestive system must first break down the ingested food and mix it with digestive secretions. This is called mechanical digestion. The first mechanical digestion process that food undergoes is chewing. This is a movement of the jaws that allows the teeth to grind the food. The movement of the tongue mixes the crushed food with saliva to form a mass called the food bolus, or the alimentary bolus. Once in the stomach, the food bolus undergoes a process of churning. Churning consists of contractions of the stomach walls that squeeze the contents and mix it with gastric juice. The stirring results in a slurry, called the chyme, which is then directed to the small intestine. Once in the small intestine, the chyme undergoes the process of segmentation. Segmentation is a process of contractions of the small intestine walls that break up the chyme and mix it with other digestive secretions, such as pancreatic juice, intestinal juice, and bile. As a result of segmentation, the chyme transforms into a whitish liquid called chyle. The bile produced by the liver then travels to the small intestine where it allows for the emulsification of fats. This is a process which, thanks to the bile salts contained in the bile, breaks up the fat clusters and disperses them into fine lipid droplets throughout the chyle. By reducing the size of the food and mixing it with digestive secretions, mechanical digestion increases the contact surface between the food and the digestive enzymes. This step is essential as it facilitates the breakdown of nutrients into smaller molecules during chemical digestion.